So AMC is not doing too bad, but it's definitely not doing good. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions, and just wanted to talk about it. I mean, since market has opened, on the positive note, AMC has not shown real, really any true signs of continuous progress of a sell-off. And that's one of the main reasons that I haven't even traded it. Uh, I mean, I can't even short it even if I wanted to. Uh, they blocked the ability to short because there's no shares available, at least on the Webull trading application that I'm choosing to trade on. Uh, it does have a common support as of right now around 485, and then it tends to have a resistance right around 515. So I, I don't like trading these like pump and dump stocks when it's consolidated. Again, I've been very open with you guys. I'm not here to pretend to be part of your movement. I'm here to make money. I'm treating this as a pump and dump and I get in and I get out when direction is clear and when opportunity is clear. So I made a video talking about it yesterday where it's pulled back enough that, you know, okay, are we going to find a support here and then begin to indicate signs of a reversal or are we, is this it, right? Is, did it lose its, its hype? And are we retracing back down to $3 and 30 cents? So you guys can let me know down in the comment section what you think. But I wanted to answer some questions that I got in yesterday's video. I feel like a lot of people think that there's like some form of conspiracy theory on why AMC didn't do well. AMC didn't do well because it's a shit company. Like uh, the same thing with GME. Like why why make it seem like it's something that it's not? I mean, I got a wild comment yesterday of like the only reason AMC didn't absolutely take off yesterday is because the hedge funds are against us and Wall Street doesn't want us to succeed. Like, no idiot. It's just, it's a crap company. I mean, AMC itself sold, a, what was it, 23 million shares of its own stock yesterday because it has debt that's due in 2026 and it needs the cash to pay off that debt. It's $165 million and this stock gapped up 200% in two days. So, anyone with a freaking brain cell would, would lock in profits. Why wouldn't you? Um, and I feel like they, they try to find any excuse of like, oh, well, AMC got halted all, you know, every, every 10 minutes. That's what happens with any normal company that experiences any type of volatility within a short period of time. And if it moves more than 10%, yes, it does get halted. And then they're like, well, what happened? Why didn't this one get halted? It's like any, any company, especially the ones that have a lot of attention to them, any of those companies, yes, they do trigger circuit breakers and they get halted. Just like they get halted on the way up, they also get halted on the way down. It's not rocket science. It's nothing new. It's not because they're against you. It's it's common sense for those that have traded or invested in the market. And then what was the other one that I got of like, um, oh, well, that's not taking into consideration all the naked shorts that you can't see. I'm like, dude, I... I Man, I just feel bad for these like GME and these AMC traders. Like I would honestly have thought that based off of what happened in the past, right? From when we originally pumped and to know that it didn't work. And then we came crashing from nearly $400 per share all the way down to $2. You would think these idiots would learn their lesson, right? That like, oh no, this time it's different. This time Roaring Kitty said that this time it's different. Okay. I like look out for yourself. That's, that's all I, I mean, you do you, you make your money, um, but actually try to do that, make your money and making money means that you lock in profits when it makes sense. So I'm excited to follow up. I just want price action to make sense. And when this thing, and if this thing begins to take off and direction is clear, I'd love to um, trade this, right? I'd love to take advantage of the opportunity because that's all I see it as like uh, an opportunity presenting itself if it breaks out. And it's going to be a day trade, right? Um, but if it doesn't break out and it just begins to show a bunch of selling pressure, then I'm not going to overcomplicate it. I'm just not going to trade it, right? There's no reason to take it personal. It's not personal. You don't own AMC. I don't own AMC. Just because you own 100 or 1,000 shares is insignificant, right? You're no one You're, uh, in this in this market. Uh, so, so don't take it personal. No one's going to notice if you're there or if you're not. It's It's literally like that's the truth. So we're all here for the same reason, and that's to make money. You can say that you're not, but then you can't get offended when it doesn't go according to plan and you lose all your money. Well, I thought you weren't here to make all of your money. So then why are you so mad, right? It's like, we're all here for the same reason. It's to make money. So make your money. Don't take it personal, right? If you're going to approach this market that way, then, I mean, literally, you're just going to give it away. I mean, that's that's the truth of it. So overall, NASDAQ market as of right now, um, believe it or not, is at all-time highs. So NASDAQ market is extremely overbought, overextended. It's at all-time highs, which is pretty crazy to think about because unemployment um, is still going up, right? Uh, inflation is at 3.4% for the CPI data report. 
it's not necessarily going down based off of um, you know what we've shown for like the past six CPI data reports. And uh, we have a bunch of big tech companies laying off a bunch of employees, but yet the market is at all-time highs. So it almost makes sense if you don't think about it. Um, but NASDAQ market extremely overbought. So the thing that I like to do, and again, I'm just sharing it with you, is not that the market has to pull on back now, but I like to create a plan of action that if the market does begin to pull on back, what am I going to be taking advantage of? And I already entered my SQQQ trade, and SQQQ goes up when the NASDAQ market goes down. So I'm preparing that if the market does go down, and again, I can add more to my SQQQ position, making money as the NASDAQ market sells off. I'd like to keep you guys up to date. Um, you obviously... You know, I've been wrong in the past before. There's, there's nothing to it. It's not not that serious. It's just I like making you aware of when the market's on overbought or oversold levels. Right now it's overbought, so I like to prepare for pullbacks because it's not about an if the market will pull on back, but it's a when, right? So put yourself in a position in which you can tolerate because it doesn't mean that it's going to happen right now, but it means that it could happen soon. And that's why I like to prepare in advance and create that plan of action. Remember, one of the, my favorite tools to plan out my trades is that risk calculator where you can plug in your entry, exit, and stop loss. I do plug it in in the description of this video for you guys it is free to download and it's the first link in the description down below i want to remind you that if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and if you want to watch me trade live i trade live every single morning so if you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow because you learn best by watching other people do you get to see all of my good trades and all of my bad trades and that's that second or third link in the description down below and you'll get 50 percent off lpp 2.0 so i appreciate your time hope that we're into thumbs up i'll see you guys on the next one and please do your part in looking out for yourself stop making it uh making a thousand excuses on why you're not why AMC is not doing well or GME is not doing well. It's not doing well because it's a shit company. It's all based off of momentum. And if there's no momentum, then it's not going to break out, right? That It is what it is. So um, we'll see you guys on the next one. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note and um, make sure you subscribe.